Good morning, everyone. Here I am in a new game. It's technically not released yet, but it is available for early access on Steam. It's a game called Windborne. Uh, as you can see, I have this nice little island-looking thing, which you can see some kind of like mist ocean or some crap extends off of the side of it. It's fairly large from what I can see. Uh, and this is the small island size, because that's all you can select right now. Because it is still in like the alpha stage and stuff. But uh, it's pretty much a very pretty Minecraft with some other elements kind of thrown in. As you can see in the kind of upper right there, I've got like a quest tracker thing over there, which uh, you get all the quests and things from this, this dragon stone, which by the way looks pretty freaking awesome. I really like the look of it. It's got those nice little whirly lines and a little crystal ball thingy in there. It looks pretty nice. This is a machine that I recently built or something. It's called the Shaper. It allows you to craft different things, but most of the crafting is actually done just in like a menu. You just hit the C button brings up this, and you can build stone railings, stone steps, thin railings. You can apparently craft gemstones if you have gemstone, which I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, raw gems right there. And uh, do a lot of just regular stuff. It's got ceramic blades, which apparently you need dirt to cook into ceramic, and then you can make it... Oh, so dirt's actually useful for something. How nice. Uh, anyway, uh, so I've just been kind of mucking around a bit. It's I pretty much just started, and I was just so blown away by the visuals and stuff in the game that I just had to make a little video kind of showcasing it. If You can still kind of see it off in the distance. Like, it actually shows the constellations in the stars with those little lines. There was this, like, big dragon-looking thing up behind this giant pillar thing here. It looked freaking amazing. But uh, all you have to do to uh, go into gather mode is you just right click or you can just use your mouse wheel if you have one of those to kind of scroll along this menu here. You just go to an empty spot and then you just hold the right click mouse button. Don't need a pick or nothing. Just yoink. You're some kind of super mage or something. You can crush the world with your hands. And, uh, oh, well, they got these little cute guys here. They're, they're flying sheep. Flying sheep, which you get wool from. That's right. You shear flying sheep. Uh, and they got these little shrines and stuff kind of scattered around, which give you basically blueprints for different things you can make, which is where I got the highborn arch and the highborn framed window and highborn pot, highborn urn, blah 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 blah, highborn wall. Um, as you can see I carved a little hole out of the side here and they've got different resources like coal and gemstones and stuff like that. I haven't looked up anything on the game, I just saw it on Steam and I was like this looks amazing and decided to try it. And sure enough, it does look pretty amazing. And uh, it has these little underground things that you can jump into. I was really, really surprised at just how pretty the cave networks are. Like, you just come into this thing, and boom. It just looks amazing. The sloping walls and everything, it's just... It has a very natural, cavey kind of feel to it. And it's, it's just awesome. I don't even know what this stuff is. That's... Oh, it's apparently an iron vein, which is cool. I have learned iron by picking it up. I don't know how I learn iron, but clearly I have. So, but yeah, see, I mean, it just, it just looks so awesome down here. Are these bones? No, sandstone. Okay, so you can get, like, sandstone stuff. So just taking a look around at the place from everything that I can see and see it even comes out the bottom here into like this weird whoa 
easy enough to get out of a spot here. Just comes out right on the bottom, up above a giant freaking cloud ocean. I'm on floating islands. That's amazing. Gold veins. Who doesn't want gold, you know? I have learned gold now. But anyway, I'm just going to collect a little bit down here, and then I'll go and kind of run around up on the surface. Apparently my music's a bit loud. Hold on a second. Okay. That music got a bit loud. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too loud for you guys and you weren't all getting deafened, but, uh... It might have gotten over some of my talking and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to collect a little bit down here. And then I'm going to show you another little cool feature. I mean, it might just be for the beta. Hey. My stuff disappeared. It's not cool. Anyway, it might just be for the early access stuff. But you can just hit Control R. Uh... Sound resumed. There we go. Oop, I forgot. I'm still in team speak technically. Sound muted. There we go. But uh, anyway, you just control R and it brings you right back here. And I've got all the stuff if I want to to craft a stove, which is what I use to make the ceramic and stuff. But you know what? I'm just going to kind of wander around because this looks awesome. I don't even know what this is. It's a tuber flower. Makes sense. But anyway, supposedly, like, there's all these other islands that are around. A box flower. It's, it's pretty awesome. There's all these little islands that float around, and they they can, like, pass by, and you can get to them and, like, get their resources and stuff like that to bring onto your island. And supposedly there's, like, other people on this island. Not people people although each island is technically like a server type thing it's automatically set up for multiplayer and that kind of stuff you just gotta do some things I think in the beginning I don't necessarily know exactly I'd have to play with it some more but uh, yeah, there's these other little islands, and it's all procedurally generated, as you can see. Like, I've got desert right next to that stuff. And eventually you can, like, ride dragons and stuff or something, or learn to fly from dragons. Like, it's it sounds pretty freaking awesome. It's like Minecraft with a quest system or something. Common runestone shrine. Awesome! you upgrade the shrine, you can build rarer pieces in the set. I don't know how to upgrade a fine runestone shrine. But anyway, you got these little trees, dawnwood leaves, bellthorn leaves. Like, oh, here they are. Hey guys. Hey. 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 No. No, you're not. You're not giving me anything. I'm supposed to be able to, like, talk to you and stuff. And, like, do favors for you. Skippy to you, too. But, uh, anyway, those are the little denizens. They're called djinn. Uh, and they populate your island. And, uh, you can, like do stuff for them and like build structures for them and then they'll do stuff for you and like I, I don't know what all it involves but it sounded pretty awesome and so ooh, ten wall oh, you just right click so it's very intuitive to figure it all out it's very much like Minecraft these trees I mean, even though the graphics are very simple, there's, it's still very, like, high definition and stiff. Like, the textures are are pretty good. Uh, I mean, 
They're not superb or anything, but I don't even know what that is. Oh, loam. That's interesting. But, like, just everything by the look of it seems to just pop really well. The colors are very vibrant. It's a very lush landscape. I mean, even the desert. Let me go over and take a look at the desert again. Whee! What the hell is that? A jelly shroom. Nice. Even the desert over here. Like, it's got all the desert, like, vegetation and stuff in it, and the sand looks very, 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 like, sandy-ish and stuff, and looks like it's got a lot of coal in the bedrocky type area of it, and it's, like, it just looks awesome. I, I can't really say it any other way. It looks fantastic. That would have been bad. I wonder if you actually die from, like, jumping. I would imagine you probably do, but I don't really feel like testing it. But, uh... Hey. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. I don't know what you want. So, uh, I guess I'll craft this stove. Where's the stove? There's the stove. You just go iron ore, glow moss, makes a stove. Shapow. Okay. Just hit that to exit the inventory. And... Clearly I went the wrong way to get back. Sound resume. Sound muted. I really should get out of team speak. But anyway, place the stove. So we go to Q. We just move this down to there. We move that up to there. And then, here we go, we'll just place the stove, oops, there we go, and the stove. And then you can just put stuff in, and then get stuff out, and ta-da, drag fuel here. I'm guessing coal is the fuel, yep, okay, okay. Sandstone, can we do sandstone? Nope. What about, what about, you know what, we'll just do some iron. There we go. Apparently it's a three to one ratio. Okay, cool. Right click, right click. What about gold ore? Also a three to one, and you can see the fuel thing dropping. So, very, very similar to Minecraft. Uh, unfortunately, you can't... Okay, she so can go and do stuff, but I don't know if it's still... It is still working, so awesome. So, I guess I finished that one, so I'll go ahead and... Hey. There we go. Completed! Place ten grass in the stove as fuel. Oh, grass can be fuel, that's nice. Turn ten dirt into ten ceramic. Okay, so he just gave me another quest. And you can just go in your inventory and you can right click to learn the scroll and you get a column now. And you can then do you just top it off with anything. Okay, well that's pretty awesome. So, dirt. I don't want grass, I want dirt. I guess I could probably just dig down and get dirt, couldn't I? Ta-da! Dirt everywhere. Huh. Apparently there's coal mixed in here. I don't know what 
they stack to, but probably be somewhere around 64, I would get. Nope, nope, stacks higher than 64. Bam. So, made it out. Interact with this again. And we just cook the dirt into ceramic. So, that's pretty much what I figured out about the game so far. Uh, those columns in the background there look pretty awesome. I really kind of want to get on top of there just to kind of look out and see how far things go. And uh, just start exploring this place because it seems freaking awesome. So, I got those. So now I just craft five ceramic blades. The only problem is you have to individually click every blade you want to make. And five. There we go. And I get another scroll. And it basically just, it, the quest seemed to just be like teaching you how to do the basic stuff, which is what it said in the, uh, the thing that I looked at on Steam it was like the quests are pretty much just there to to do stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what this. Okay, the gin aspect of it is coming soon. That's probably why the gin aren't really doing much. Anyway, there's the social settings. Allow other players into my island. You can invite them right from the social settings there. You have a character, which I don't know if there's going to be any customization or anything on it soon. It looks like there's at least different clothing you can do. There's different stats. So I think it's got RPG elements and stuff to it. So, yeah. I could probably lose days in this game. And it would be terrible. Not really. But, uh, anyway... That's basically a first look at the game. Uh, you may or may not get some other videos from me. I mean, I still have those other projects that I want to be working on in, like, Minecraft with the Stag's Rest thing. And then, of course, I still play MechWarrior Online every once in a while. So I need to do another video for that just to kind of show off what all has come to be in the world of MechWarrior with the new mech which was just released today, actually. But, uh, yeah. This game looks pretty freaking amazing. And the sky just looks awesome. The fact that you're on a giant floating island in the middle of this just cloud sea, it just, yeah. Like, this is a fantasy gamer's, like, wet dream for a sandbox game. Oh, see, there it is. Big friggin' dragon thing. Yeah. Yeah. Big friggin' dragon. How awesome is that? I don't see any others. So maybe that's the only one that they have right now. But still. Looks amazing. So, uh, I guess that's gonna do it for me today. Uh, I will catch you all next time.